do you see any of the financial actors in the system right now doing it right, or at least have got the right tact about going about corruption and other problems? Uh, sadly, I think the bias um, is, is against a responsibility in high finance. For some of the comments that were made in the panel, I like just, um, what is it? I think, oh, it's Warren Buffett's got a quote or something like this. It's sort of, too much easy money drives away ethics, or too much easy money drives away concern for good outcomes. And when we have too much easy money, and when money circulates so fast through computers, um, it, it changes the way people think about themselves and about the system. They're, they get detached from real people and real outcomes. Um, I think there are some, uh, there are good people in, in some places, but they generally tend to be rooted in a, in a community or something like that, rather than sort of globalized. The more you globalize institutions, uh, the, the more detached they get from any particular customer or community or aspect of the environment. So I think we have, we have some serious, serious systemic problems with the concentration in size in finance. The other thing which the panel brought out, which is a serious, serious problem, is this commingling, particularly in democracies, between political leaders who need money to run for office and the financial sector. So our politicians are getting increasingly disconnected uh, from ordinary people who are turning then, as, as people always do in democracy, to, to anger and emotions and, and uh, parties which have sort of emotional hair triggers. The Tea Party in the United States, UKIP in the UK, the National Front in France. Uh, and it's sort of like it's a rebellion of the middle classes against an elite. However, in the 1930s, when the middle classes rebelled against the elite, they turned to fascism. So I think that's a historic precedent we need to be very sensitive to.